pet store, we went to Petco also because Prabhu told us. Uh, so Petco, what they have is for the bird food, they don't have it like this. They have it on the, uh, like how it grows, the top thing. So they just cut it and they sell that. That's the best. <laughs> that is the best, but then we have to remove it and uh, do all the processing. I don't know what that is called. Well, it was very small, less quantity also. It was like, you're not really selling it like a big bag. Yeah. It was like... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but then you, in, in the grain, we went to the grand restaurant. They have like big bags with... But there were many other things in that also. Yeah. It but was not they, just... Uh, yeah, but they have one million and 95 pound bags. So they said that you can buy it, but we don't guarantee that it's going to work for you. All right, we're almost finished. The last thing is cooking the rotis. When you, uh, of course, this is a demonstration. It takes longer, but when you're at home, you could probably cook a whole meal. If you make a little preparation the day before, uh, you can cook the whole meal in about one minute. Is it okay to cut vegetables overnight in the night and take it and cook it in the morning? You can. It's better not to. You can. Yeah. <laughs> it's not against you. You're not breaking any laws, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, now we're going to finish the millet. So, we have... Some milk, we have the millet, added, I added a little bit of king, uh, and, uh, and a little bit of, uh, just a very little bit of uh, turmeric. Yes. Of course, quinoa looks better than, I mean, faster than millet. Millet is a harder grain. It, and it has a tendency of drying. The quinoa is not like that. Uh, I use, let's say, three to one. I, I did two, three, two, three quarters. Uh, I, yeah, two and three quarters to one. Go up to three. And then I added milk, which was more. Usually you don't cook with salt, you add it at the end. Uh, why is that? Salt will uh, artificially make it cook faster. You know, when you, add, you, know, when you, when you people cook uh, rajma and things like that, you add salt to it makes the heat go up higher for some reason or other. But it, it's better not to cook with salt, but add it at the end. Okay, so now it's looking a little nicer, you know, it's yellowish. There's something about the yellow color, different than white. And it's a little more juicier. And I added ghee to it also. And it doesn't have to really cook too much like this. It's already cooked. It's just drying it a little bit because I have a little extra milk and heating it up so it's nice and hot. So now we're gonna, as soon as that's finished, we're gonna make the dough. So you see this. I got another cheese for you. Tomorrow I'll blend this with honey and cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon. You can also put uh, cardamom and I make my drink. Digestive drink. Yeah. We can have to less quantity. Yeah, sure. Where did you get that from? What? 
So you have to cook millet. I added milk. I took the last of the And ghee. Whenever you put milk and ghee in something, it becomes a transcendental substance. Especially if you use real milk. Because uh, the devas, they eat things cooked in milk and ghee. But I was a little bit of uh, hungry. In the end, we're going to add some salt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, you want me to cook it uh, on the stove or after we, like on the fire? And the fire? No, no. Uh, after it. Put it on after it's cooked. But you want it to be on the stove or after I get it? There are two ways to make it. No, no. After. Probably about the ratio of flax seeds and the filigree seeds. Oh, about half and half. Half and half. Yeah. Black seed, like I said, is one of the best medicines in the world. So we have some olive oil. So I already put some salt here. Let's mix this up. So the, uh, the advantage, if you, if you remember my dietary suggestions, every meal should be half cooked half raw. The raw part gives you a lot of uh, live digestive enzymes, as we said. That way you, you're not forcing your body to make those enzymes. Therefore, there's three types of enzymes. There's digestive enzymes, uh, metabolic enzymes, that means the enzymes that help break the food down, like a simple sugar, and there's oxygenating enzymes. Enzymes that keep the oxygen flowing through your blood. Uh, enzymes that you know, take the oxygen from your lungs and keep flowing in the blood. So, if you eat your, uh, your uh, digestive enzymes, you're making the digestive process easier for your body. Therefore, you can concentrate more on metabolic breakdown of the foods in your stomach and intestine. And keeping the oxygen flowing throughout your body. Oxygen is the number one healing substance, as we said in the previous seminar. It can heal all diseases, especially cancer. And as we said, less oxygen to the brain, you get a stroke. Less oxygen to the heart, you get a heart attack. Less oxygen somewhere in the body, you get cancer. What? what kind of food has more oxygen in it? Right. Uh, well, your body makes it. So if it makes less digestive enzymes, you can focus on making more oxidating enzymes. Your body is a chemical factory. But just like, let's say you have a car, if you uh, don't do a uh, if you don't take your car in for a uh, checkup, uh, changing the oil, changing the oil uh, air filter, uh, using things that clean the, the carburetor and everything, then after a while it doesn't function properly. The same with your body. If you don't do a maintenance of the body on a regular basis, uh, it doesn't start functioning well. Not only do you get sick, but you can die of starvation. Most people die of starvation they don't die of diseases because they're not digesting properly, because the whole digestive system has become full of sludge and, and, and impacted mucus. So you're eating food, but you're not really getting much nutrition. So the major cause of death is usually uh, starvation. No, no, no. I'm going to mix some olive oil right in here. So now this is done. Again, it has a nice color. You have red things in it. You have orange things. You have some curry leaves. And uh, I haven't added. Uh, did I finish the cilantro? No, I haven't added the cilantro. Cilantro and parsley are also medicines. So it's 
good to always include them in your meals. Uh, so this is cooked now. We just check the pattern. Yes. Yeah, you don't want to cook it. It cooks naturally. We're going to let this cook a little bit more. The carrots are still a little bit hard. All right, so now we add olive oil. Hare Krishna. We already added salt. <laughs> yeah. Not too, look, too much of anything is not good. Right? Everything should be done measured. Well, you, you, do, you do seem to be a little generous. Right? What? You can. You can. Black soil, you have to be careful. There's two types of black soil. Natural black soil and chemically made black soil. Probably know. <laughs> yeah, I have to be careful. You have to make sure. How do we know? Well, I don't know. I mean, anything you get from India, you have to be careful because Indians are too clever. Huh? Mostly, the things we get here, they're not natural. Yeah, well, yeah, that's why you should never use regular salt, the salt. They, they've purposely <laughs> taken out all the minerals. There's always 3% minerals in the uh, uh, natural salt. And that buffers the sodium chloride. Okay, this is done. making your own uh, flour with whole grains and uh, you use this, this uh, uh, plan for a meal, carbohydrate meal or a protein meal, half of it should be raw. By the way, I have some sprouts. Did you bring sprouts? Okay, I don't have the sprouts. Uh, anyway, half the meal should be raw and the other half cooked. Just like this meal, you have the millet, you have the sudji, you have the roti, and you have the salad. Full meal. If you want to add baked potato, you can to the carbohydrate. Baked, uh, uh, yogurt is, is a high protein product, so this would, you would eat the yogurt with your uh, protein. So yogurt not with the carbohydrate meat? Even though there's yogurt in the, in the uh, protein, but that was uh, okay. in order to make it uh, bro broken down and break down the sugars. Okay? You mentioned about protein meat, and now today we are doing carbohydrate meat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We think that uh, in our daily meals, we should have both the things, or we should have. Yes. Say, today we are having only carbohydrate. No, no, you can. You can. We should have both. They're separate. They're separate. Like, more, like so our lunch like, is something like for example, lunch is protein. This is a sample of protein meal. This, this is a traditional salad. Uh, this is the traditional breakfast in Haryana. They have uh, kala. Chana and salad. This is what they eat in the morning. 
You can also mix in some uh, raw sprouted. This is this is an ideal breakfast. So you're saying that you have a protein meal, you can't have carbohydrate meal at lunch. Yes, separate. So let's say you have a protein meal at lunch, carbohydrate meal at night. We also said try not to eat after ten o'clock, uh, after six o'clock at night. Don't eat late at night because you'll never digest it properly. You won't sleep properly. You need three hours, uh, four hours to digest. Carbohydrate meal, protein, protein breakfast. Well, you can have protein breakfast and lunch. Yeah. But it could be the other way. Yeah, I mean, you can do it other ways, but this way. You know, proteins usually take a little longer to digest. And if you eat a protein breakfast like this, you're not hungry until uh, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> well, that depends on you, your stomach. Right? 